Hello my darlings! So today we are going to do work fragrances. I hope you're ready because these are great pretty much all year round fragrances that you can wear for work. They're very good for any day, every day, especially if you work in an office or in a hospital or any other closed environment. They're going to be good, but you're still going to smell quite unique and make a statement if you want to. So before we jump into it, please don't forget to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram. And let's go ahead and jump right in with the first one that is Tom Ford Metallic. And I recently hold it on my channel and I wanted this for so, so long. So this is a beautiful aldehydic vanilla fragrance. Uh, it is slightly fresh, slightly powdery, slightly harsh because of the aldehydes and of course you get a massive dose of beautiful vanilla in here. Uh, I would say this fragrance is extra unique, uh, extra unique. It's beautiful, it's sweet but unisex. You get everything in one bottle basically. It's cozy at the same time but fresh at the same time. Very very unique fragrance. Uh, but I would say it's not something that would just you know suffocate people. It's very long lasting but it sits closer to the skin. So someone has to be in your comfort zone to actually smell you. However if you overspray people will get a great sillage and you will leave a trail if you really want to but you have to overspray with this one so you know it's great for both occasions because you can you know pop some few sprays when you go to work but then really get in there and overspray and take it to the night time so great great all-rounder i think it's very classy it's beautiful and it's going to be great for summer and winter in my opinion because it shines in both weathers. So that is Tom Ford Metallic. The next one I have for you is from Marc Jacobs and that is Perfect Intense. And to be completely honest, I am not the biggest fan of the floral aspect of it because it does remind me of all those generic daisy-like fragrances. However, it has this beautiful nutty undertone of almond and that's what makes this fragrance and just puts it on a whole nother level. Beautiful. Uh, I would say the projection and longevity is moderate, the bottle is beautiful and you're really gonna have fun with that because in my opinion again that's something that can be just made very classy and very put together during the day and then you can really get in there over spray it for the night time so keep it in your purse you're not going to regret it great great work scent because you know it is your floral uh like you know typical daisy kind of floral you know mark jacobs daisy that's what i refer to but with a very nice twist perfect for autumn perfect for autumn thanks to that almond Next we have Alharmain Jeune Noir and this is basically a dupe for Dama Bianca by Zerzhov. So if you don't want to splurge on Zerzhov, get yourself this one. It is so perfect, especially for work and formal events. This is your fresher, more uplifting vanilla. This is not a dense, dense fragrance. This is something perfect for every day, but super, super classy and super feminine. I truly love it so much. It is so beautiful. Uh, it's so long lasting. It is potent, I must say, even though it's a fresher, lighter fragrance uh, from what you might think. It actually has great, great power to it. So I love it. This is mostly some florals, vanilla, loads of vanilla and yuzu so, and kumquat. So slightly fruity, fresh, but beautiful feminine vanilla in here. I love this one so, so much. Uh, so that is Al Haramein and this one you don't have to keep in your purse really because it will last you the whole day till the evening. So that's that. Okay, next one for all my vanilla lovers, but for all my 
men and women who want a little bit of a denser vanilla, but something that will not cloy, cloy? Is that how we say it? It's not gonna be cloying and it's not gonna suffocate people around you, especially in the office environment. That is Kayali Vanilla 28. I truly love this fragrance, you know that guys. On me it is long lasting, but it is, it is more like a close to the skin scent. And it does last very well on sweaters, especially on wool sweaters. So perfect for this time of the year. Beautiful vanilla orchid. It's like this brown sugar here as well. Oh, I love this one so much, guys. It is so, so beautiful. As you can see, I used quite a bit of it and I love mixing it with other fragrances. This is like my ultimate perfect mixer. So I think regardless if you need it for work or whatever, this is a good one to have in your collection because, you know, you can just mix it with any other fragrance and make it your own. So that is Kayali Vanilla for all my deeper vanilla lovers. Now I have something very fresh, beautiful floral, but very sophisticated, and that is Pure Extreme by Mikalev. And I love this one so much. If you love Chloe, the Eau de Parfum, you're gonna love this one. This is just more elevated version of it. It's very sophisticated. It will last you all day on your clothes and in your hair. So, so beautiful of a fragrance. I truly love wearing it every single day. This is such a happy, uplifting scent, but at the same time, it's super classy and it can be used in formal occasions. So I think if you work uh, in an office or again, hospital or any other clothes environment, uh, I think people will really appreciate what you're wearing. I think it's good for anyone really. Really, like it's perfect for anybody. It's just this beautiful feminine rose with that beautiful mask that I really adore. So yes, beautiful fragrance, Pure Extreme Mikalev. Okay, now we have a absolute cult classic uh, with some twist to it. So here I have Coco Mademoiselle Intense by Chanel. And this one to me, uh, it's not as zesty citrusy as the original. This one is sweeter. It has a lot of beautiful vanilla, even more patchouli, but you know, not that earthy patchouli that I don't really like. It actually has that warm, warming on the skin patchouli, if you know what I mean. Uh, and a lot of fruity notes. So it's sweeter, it's denser. I personally love it. Definitely my type of fragrance. I know it's a classic. I know many people wear this, but you know, when in doubt, this will always work. So that's why I am still recommending it because I feel like um, many of us still want to go for absolute classics. It's always good to have it in your collection. So for work, for business meetings, it's going to be perfect. Uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I don't even have to talk about longevity and sillage because this is a beast mode fragrance. Absolutely fantastic when it comes to that. Now I have a Zara one and this is perfect for work. This is Golden Decade from the newest collection with the gunmetal cap. And if you haven't seen my Zara video, which is only three weeks old and has almost 100,000 views, which is so cool. I really am happy about it. So go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. Uh, Golden Decade is, to me, it is a mixture of YSL Libre and Libre Intense. This is what it is to me. Beautiful vanilla lavender, even though they do not disclose lavender as a note, I really do smell it. So you cannot trick me, Zara. So good. It is so, so beautiful. It's slightly um, fruity as well. 
I love this one. This vanilla in here is so gorgeous. You get some florals. It's so classy, so sophisticated. This one will definitely leave a trail and last you all day because the longevity on the new Zara fragrances in these bottles is absolutely exquisite. I've tested all of them except one uh, and I really cannot say enough good things about them. So Golden Decade, if you don't want to splurge on Weisse Libre or if you want to just keep it for your special occasions, just go for this one and use it for every day for work because it is fantastic and nobody will tell a difference. So that is that. Next one, I have a fragrance that definitely makes more of a statement so this is for all my ladies who want to make a statement for work you know when you go to work you want to be the boss this is what you use and this is Amouage Blossom Love and this is a beautiful rose amaretto fragrance with some cherry blossom it's ultra sophisticated ultra feminine it's not too sexy I'm not gonna say it's sexy is just so elevating you know it's like when you wear this you are on a whole nother level of being a boss so so good i love my mom wearing this i love myself wearing this i love the sillage of it it really lasts for hours on your skin and if you are worried about longevity, don't be with this one because it's exquisite and the bottle is so good. So if you want to splurge a little bit more on your work fragrance or maybe you want to have a fragrance for business meetings, this is going to be great because it's feminine, but it's strong, like a strong, sweet woman, you know? So I only have one last left and this is a fragrance that is great for all year round. It shines in summer, but also in cooler months. This to me is basically a spicy peach. That's how I would describe it. Spicy peach with a little bit of coconut, lots of spices, a little bit of plum, which to me is definitely a cold weather uh, fruit. I love plums in autumn and winter in my fragrances. And that is by Killian, uh, Liaison's Dangerous, Typical Me. Beautiful fragrance. And surprisingly unisex because my boyfriend would wear it and he would smell amazing. It, there's cinnamon in here. So, you know, thanks to the fact that there are typical notes like, you know, peach, coconut, but also typical winter notes like cinnamon, plum, stuff like that. It just, it is just such a great all-rounder and I don't hear many people talk about it, which is a bummer because it is a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I must say the longevity is very decent on this one comparing to some other Killians. So I really love this great work fragrance. It's beautiful. It's slightly sexy, but it will not offend anyone. So great, great, great for office work or if you're a doctor or whatever you know if you work with people you need this because it smells bomb i was just editing the video and i realized that i forgot about one fragrance that i had on my list literally right before my eyes and i didn't mention it so this is just gonna be popped somewhere in that video so don't mind if i look different but uh, another brilliant work scent is C Fiori by Giorgio Armani and this is newer one in my collection and I must say it's so beautiful fluffy inoffensive um, to me C Passione is great for work as well but it's slightly too fruity especially for fall and winter and C the original I'm just not a fan of anymore and even though I know so many of you love it along with my mom and pretty much all my friends i don't know like i would choose sea fiori for the ultimate work scent because it's feminine it's a bit softer it has a lot of vanilla i really like it it has slight but really guys slight resemblance to love don't be shy nothing major they're not dupes at all but there is like the slight hint 
Uh, it's kind of marshmallowy texture to this fragrance as well. So it's really pretty and long lasting, inoffensive, classy, everything you need for work basically. So yes, C Fiori definitely has to be on this list. This is one of the reasons why I got it to have work fragrance even though I work from home but I still do have some meetings from time to time that I kind of do need to attend to so this one will be perfect and it's great for office wear so yes highly recommend that one so that is that for my work fragrances I hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments below which fragrance do you use for work I would love to know and other than that see you in my next one Bye.